secret North Korean missile base has been discovered just days after plans were announced for a second nuclear summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Uh, what will this do to nuclear negotiations between the two countries? We bring in James Carafano of the Heritage Foundation. James, thanks for joining us. Hey, good to be with you. There might be 20 of these missile operating bases. According to recent reports, should we reward North Korea with a formal summit? You know, what a lot of, uh, I think, sober critics have said is the only way we would really know if North Korea was even considering going on a path of denuclearization is if they did a full and complete declaration of their nuclear assets. So that would include not only the, the facilities that produce nuclear weapons, the nuclear weapons themselves, but all the related nuclear infrastructure, including missile bases and everything else. The North Koreans haven't been willing to give that up yet. And that's really kind of the, that's... That's the big card. If they don't play that card, I don't think anybody is confident they're actually serious about getting rid of their nuclear weapons. So the Wall Street Journal editorial board suggests this, focusing on managing, managing is the key word, a nuclear North Korea as opposed to denuclearization. What do you make of that strategy? Well, as a negotiating strategy, just kind of accepting North Korea as another nuclear state is about the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> You know, the reality is, is, is the United States can protect its interest, which is a nuclear war in Northeast Asia or them threatening us or our allies, with the strategy that we have in place of maximum pressure, um, nuclear and missile deterrence, uh, heavy sanctioning, conventional deterrence. That protects our interests. If we want to actually negotiate uh, the, the, the elimination of, of North Korea's nuclear weapons, which is important to the world, the last thing we should do is to start out by saying, well, if you really want to keep them, that's okay. Yeah, well, but that's the challenge. They've invested so much money in their nuclear capabilities. How do you get them to dismantle those when there's immense uh, sanctions on that country? We yeah. also learned this, um, and this was news to me. I know you know more about this, James. The U.S. In, uh, intelligence has met with North Korean intelligence for decades now. And, and that's how we got to the point where we had that first June summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. Well, there's this kind of myth that the North Koreans just kind of sit in their country and don't talk to anybody. And the reality is, is they've had all kinds of contacts in years. I, I have an analyst at the Heritage Foundation. He, he, he routinely meets with North Korean officials in what's called track two settings. So North Koreans talking to other people, that's, that's not a new. You know, the, the, the unrecognized dimension here is really Iran. The, those things go together. The United States can't give a sweetheart deal to North Korea and then turn around and say, but we're really going to pressure Iran in their nuclear program. And they talk to each other, and they're watching each other. So the Iranians are watching, and if we just give North Korea the get-out-of-jail-free card, then the Iranians are going to say, oh, we'll just wait this guy Trump out, and, you know, we'll go back to the nuclear deal, and we'll be fine. So what's the goal of this second summit at the end of February? Well, I think the, the North Korean goal is to get the Americans to come off the requirement that they eliminate all their nuclear weapons program. I think the United States, the number one goal is to demonstrate, on the one hand, our continued resolve that this is a process of getting rid of your nuclear weapons, but on the other hand, to continue to make the case and reassure the North Koreans as there is a path forward for this country if you agree to get rid of your program. Your program is the obstacle to your having a productive future. That's the president's message. I suspect he's going to stick with that. All right. I suspect you are right. James Carafano, thank you. Well, we've got a lot more.